the journals, um, they uh, over, over over the years um, acquired certain prestige, and people are addicted to that. We are more and more addicted to the prestige of certain journals, and we are willing, unfortunately, to pay a huge price uh, um, in in our well being, also in the in the in the publication speed, and also I think this might be the worst aspect of it. I think that the process distort science. People write the papers in a certain way to get past the reviewers. Yes, yes, absolutely. And and this this I would love for you to touch on this idea of addiction and sort of there's this term that people who are not in science may have heard before, and it's impact factor. And it's something that scientists chase, which, which maybe blindly and and maybe for no good reason. But what what is impact factor? So an impact factor is a number which is calculated per journal, not per paper, estimating how prestigious this particular journal that you published in is. And in certain universities, in many universities, uh, they look at this number um, and this determines your chances of getting a promotion or getting hired, getting tenured, and so on. Uh, it's an average a number which is uh, which is given per journal, which is an average of sort of all the papers that were published. There. So some journals have a very low impact factor, while in certain cases they publish amazing papers like BBRC. It's uh, not the most prestigious journal, but ubiquity in the first paper was discovered there. So the very foundational discovery that led to uh, the Nobel Prize. Uh, and, in, and, and of course, Nature Journal has has a very high impact factor, but not every paper there is equally great. Uh, and um, and this number is also hacked in many different ways, and the journals hack it. Um, so it, it's a horrible measure. There are other measures that are all bad, pretty much. The age index, you know, measures how old you are, uh, uh, and so on. Yeah, another 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 issue. Um which I've seen over the years are brilliant scientists deciding not to continue in the research, you know, in the research field because they don't want to deal with publications. They don't want to run their own lab because they don't want to be chasing uh, this publication grants and that sort of thing, which, which grants are also reliant on high impact factor publications and not to mention um, promotions. You know, uh, there's this idea of publish or perish, you know, it rather it's this uh, philosophy or paradigm that exists in the research world that really stifles research, because instead of focusing on solving a problem, what is in the forefront in a lot of scientists minds is this idea, I have to publish, I have to publish, I have to publish, rather than focusing on on the answer. 